Howdy y'all, it's Mario. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're finally doing a review for the Bo Peep action talking figure doll, whatever you wanna call her, from the Disney store. So now, this lady came out in the UK forever ago and the US finally got her and then when I bought her, it took me forever to get this review up for you guys, so I do apologize for that. She has been out for a minute. She's available on Shop Disney. And there's actually even a JCPenney version, which I do have. She's just a little bit cheaper in the details and I'll compare them towards the end of the video. So let's just get started right away because I'm excited to finally get this Bo Peep out of the box. As you can see, it's ages three and up. The box design is perfect. You can see the little button from her cape up there and the bow from her hair. It's just awesome. It's light blue and I love the pink polka dots in the back from her skirt. That is just such an awesome detail. It says, try me. The button is in the back and this is really cool because she has a toy detector so she interacts with other toys bo peep talking action figure so not, not only does she say phrases which i will also show you at the end of the video in case of spoilers but she also interacts with other toys look at the side of the box it's so so beautiful there's a taco there that's a sticker obviously the kid puts stickers on the toys and we're gonna see that in the movie i assume because her cheeks have the stickers on them so that's that's really cute so yeah, um, I will not be able to show you how she interacts with other toys because I don't have any of the other toys that she interacts with. It detects other characters nearby and activates phrases. I will show you the phrases that she has, but unfortunately I cannot show you how she talks to Woody or Forky or whoever else um, that has the interactive feature. The cape turns into a skirt, which is awesome. There you see there's a Woody and a Forky that she could interact with. And the retail price is $32.95. And here we have Bo Peep out of the box and she's just perfect in so many ways. I love this doll or action figure. She's just amazing. Um, the first thing that I want to show you really quickly is the Shepherd's Crook, crook, shepherd's crook, okay? <laughs> or staff, which is an easier word for me to say. <laughs> there you can see that it does have the little um, bandages around it, which is really cool because it's very movie accurate. And it's also very large, like very big in comparison to the other staffs that we've seen for like the Thinkway uh, versions of Bo Peep. Now, this is really cool. Her cape is such a nice quality. It's beautiful. It's reversible. I just love it. I love the way it looks on her and the way that it's so soft and it like drapes on her instead of being like a little bit stiff. There you see, it has a little button. She's so cute. She looks a little bit shook. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is the skirt. This is the blue side that we can see she uses as a cape in the trailers. We've seen it in all the merchandise. And now the inside is her original uh, Bo Peep um, Shepherd's look. And I love the little button. Um, she must have found that somewhere along the last few years that she's been lost. I love the lace as well. It's a really nice detail. Again, Disney Store just makes the best um, clothing for their action figures. Even if sometimes uh, action figures are dolls. You can see you put it around her and then she has a skirt. She does have this look. We've seen it in the latest trailers or TV spots that she does wear her skirt like this. And it's very easy to put on. As you can see, I'm having a hard time because I tried to put it over the stand. By the way, this stand is not included. This is one of those Kaiser stands that you can find on Amazon or eBay for like $7. So yeah, the stand just helps her stand even though she is able to stand a little bit on her own. There you see the skirt. And I didn't do a good job because <laughs> I was trying to get the button to show on the outside like it does in, the, um, in some of the pictures that I've seen. There you see, it's so flowy and pretty. I just love it. And of course, um, eventually, <laughs> as you can see here, you can turn it around and make the little uh, button be on the front, which I like this a little more. I have to make it look a little better, but I like it. I like how it looks. Next up, we have her beautiful bow, which I love that they actually use fabric and it's not plastic. It's very accurate to the movie in texture as well from what we've seen in pictures and all of that. Of course, um, this is attached to her head by little um what are they called like little um tabs or uh, tags little tags 
<laughs> there's three little tags one on the bow and then one on the side and one on the back so you have to be very careful don't mess around with her too much because if they break it's gonna fall off her head <laughs> now the paint job on this is great i think her expression is beautiful she has a little bit of a longer face rather than round um and her eyes a little bit too are her <laughs> say i get stuck all the time her eyes are a little bit too dark i would like them to be a little bit lighter but other than that um her face is beautiful so those people out there who are very talented if you paint her eyes light blue she'll look perfect now her outfit is really really nice i mean this is the best version of this outfit that i've seen it has this beautiful texture right down the middle in the white area it has the little laces on the sides i mean they did such a good job with the outfit this is just does so good when it comes to um, making fabric outfits for dolls and action figures. Now her belt is removable and it's the same texture or material as the bow in her head. And it's perfect. Um, the reason why I did that is so that I can remove the outfit quickly so you can see it. Now I do love the bottom of the pantaloons. I don't know if you want <laughs> My sister-in-law calls them pantaloons, but um, her pants, I guess you could say, it is on her undergarments when you think about it, because she did remove her skirt. But anyways, <laughs> she does have her little um, bandages in her arm, the purple one and the white one, which is really nicely sculpted with detail. And I just love it. I think it's the best outfit I've seen um, of this look yet. The best made, I should say. Now, let me show you when you remove it, you can see the battery is back there, the button to turn it on is back there. Um, and again, I sometimes I get really dumb comments about dolls and taking their clothes off. When I do a review, I like to show you the details. And in order to do that, the outfit has to come off. So if you don't like doll nudity, I'm sorry, but it's plastic. <laughs> now, I do like her bloomers. They're super nice with the little polka dots. And she does have articulation. We thought she didn't, but she does. It's kind of like a bar like Barbie legs that have the metal inside. So she is articulated. Not a lot of movement, but the articulation is definitely there. Now, when it comes to her feet, the shoes are not removable. And they do have this weird um, articulation where they just go kind of up and down. They don't really move to the sides. But they are painted very well, and she can stand on her own if you position her correctly. Now, I wanted to show you a size comparison. Bo Peep is about 14 inches tall. You can see her here next to the Anna Limited Edition doll, and she is 16 inches tall, just so you can get an idea of what she would look like next to your collectibles. And now, lastly, <laughs> well, not lastly, because I will show you what she sounds like. Here we have the Disney Store version of Bo Peep. As you can see, there's a lot of detail. And this is the JCPenney version. It's basically a simpler version. JCPenney doll is $25 and Disney Store is $32.95. So you do save a couple of bucks. Now they do say the same phrases. And other than the outfit, the only difference is um, that she doesn't interact. The JCPenney doll does not interact with other toys. And her outfit is a little bit simpler. Other than that, they are pretty much the same thing. Remember that Disney Store makes dolls for JCPenney to sell at a cheaper price. So it's still Disney Store, but you know, the JCPenney collection, if you will. Alrighty, now it's time to hear what Bo Peep has to say. Oh my good, look at you! I never thought I'd see you again! Oh, there's someone I want you to meet. Billy, Goat, and Gruff? Where are you headed? Yep, sold the antique store and now I'm here. <laughs> you know how it goes. Their little girl grew up, didn't need me anymore, so... You know, kids lose their toys every day. <laughs> oh, you're kidding. I didn't know that. <laughs> I'm getting my sheep back. Oh, I can't believe it! Okay, my friends, so that is all for today. I'm so excited to finally see Toy Story 4 tomorrow. I don't know when you're watching this video, but the movie just came out today and I'm watching it tomorrow. I'm so excited to see her back on the big screen with Woody and the whole gang. Super, super happy to see her back. I can't wait. Um, anyways, <laughs> this doll is available on shopdisney.com and, lo and your local Disney stores. Thank you again for watching my video. Love you all and see you on the next one. Bye-bye.